Hello, my name is Martin Parker and I'm a professor in the School of Management at the University of Bristol and I've had a long interest in anarchism and the relationship between anarchist ideas and management and organisation and markets and so on. This might seem a bit odd uh, in the sense that we could imagine that management and anarchism are opposed concepts. Management is a science of control. It's about trying to ensure that everything has its proper place, uh, particular sorts of hierarchies and ideas about reward and justice and so on. Whilst anarchism appears at first sight to be a theory of disorganisation, um, a way of kicking against forms of organising which are seen to be oppressive in various ways. But I think that's a real caricature in the sense that I think anarchists have been fundamentally interested in organisation right the way back to the classical anarchists of the early 19th century. They're interested in different organisational forms, but organisation is a concept that's vital to understanding what they're proposing. So if we look at anarchism as a whole, my idea is that it's essentially a kind of long uh, 200 year now a consideration of what forms of organisation we might want as human beings that maximise justice, democracy, equality, and so on. And so in a way, anarchists, for anarchists, everything is on the table. Uh, any form of organisation is OK, as long as it's been consensually agreed by those people who participate in it. So the question isn't what forms of organisation are appropriate. The question is rather, what sort of processes do we use in order to determine the forms of organisation that we want to live in? And that is why it seems to me it's really important that we teach anarchism within business schools. <laughs>